Hey everybody, just had my camera fall down there. This is Alakai, and we're here with our pack openings for the day. Character sells five boosters, new gravity feed. I have pulled one super rare already. We're gonna take a look to see if we get any more. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh my god. The She Hulk, I'm so angry. She Hulk Lady Liberator. She Hulk can only be blocked by two or more characters. I'm telling you, my, my dice. <laughs> My dice trades are like that. <laughs> Majority of my stuff is all Mr. Sinister and She Hulk. Mr. Sinister, Arch Villain. When Mr. Sinister is active, if your opponent has no villains in the field, each of your characters gain plus 2T. And I am so curious to know if everybody's getting that same type of luck. Bam. Oh, there's somebody I haven't seen in a while. Mr. Rat Man. Boom. Vision. Android 4 and a mask for an Avenger. Vision takes no damage from mask characters. And then just the straight Ant Man biophysicist 2 and a fist for an Avenger. But I like Ant Man so much, and he just was unplayable in my deck. He's a one field 5 2. But what makes him great is he's an Avenger, so he really works well with that Nick Fury patch deck. Um, unfortunately, I had to give him up. I went to a. Uh, I replaced him with a Namor to um, get rid of uh, some of those Cerebros that people are putting all over the place. So Namor helps get rid of some of that action. Pack number three. And that man just wasn't working very much. It's kind of too aggro-y, I guess. Oh, cool, there's another man. Boom. Iceman, Mr. Freeze. Four to bolt for an X-Man. With the first time each turn you field another character, Iceman gains plus three attack. <laughs> the same biophysicist. I'm not going to read it again. I like him. Okay. But I don't like him that much. <laughs> Pack number four. There's an Iron Man. Right? Isn't there an Iron Man super rare? Isn't there one? Oh. No. Cable Techno Organic. It's an uncommon version. When Cable is unblocked, deal two damage to each opposing character. And Iron Man, upright. Iron Man takes one less damage from villains. Oh, this is the guy that assigns villains. It's pretty cool. So he just goes and gives uh, villain titles to other characters and then takes less damage from them. And then also, it works well with the uh, Mr. Sinister. So when, uh, if you, you, you get Iron Man on there, assign villain, Mr. Sinister's ability says that if you are to, uh, um, if a villain gets knocked out, you get one more damage to that opponent. And, um, is this the one right here? That's not the one. And, um, it's good for just some extra damage. It's just a little combo. That happened to me plenty. I was playing the other day. Ooh, jeez. Getting a little crazy. <laughs> I see I like Ant-Man and I pull three of them. I haven't pulled them in a long time. Well, bam. Vision density control. When vision blocks, you may spin him up one level. It's the common version then. Oh, five packs. I get. Okay, so I need to stop saying that how much I like uh, cards here because I say I like Ant-Man. <laughs> and I get three of the same one. It's a lot. Anyways, guys. Um, no rares. No rares on that one. Only a couple, that was actually a bad pull. And uh, how many chances do we have at a super rare? I think just the the Iron Man, right? Isn't Iron? I think there's an Iron Man super rare. Iron Man, Spider Man. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hey there, everybody. This is Alec Hi. Today we're talking about mono energy decks. Um, particularly in this case, we're going to talk about the mask. Um, some of the different ideas that uh, come with the mass, the mono mask energy is uh, deck, is really a control. Uh, if you take a look at some of the different primary cards you see here, you have like Loki Gem Keeper, you have Professor X. Um, in case uh, you guys don't are familiar with it, Professor X, powerful telepath. When Professor X is active, your opponent cannot use actions or global abilities. He or she can pay two life to prevent this effect for the rest of the turn. So this really drains. Uh, it's kind of a life drain. Um, but it shuts down all action effects, right? Um, things like the Professor X um, uh, UXM version, which has the uh, Professor X Global, where you pay a mask and you get two sidekick dice from your use pile to your prep area. 
uh, gem keeper, uh, you place uh, when fielded, choose an opponent's character card, canceling all previous choices. Your opponent cannot field that character while Loki is active. This effect lasts until you field another Loki, so prevents any kind of characters from being fielded. Really shuts down an opponent again. Um, in AVX, there's also another power, uh, Professor X, that's the um, Charles Francis Xavier, which also prevents <laughs> fielding, which is the ultimate killer, right? Uh, we also have things like Storm, low-cost mass creature. It's very famous. This is the African Priestess version, but there's another one that's just very similar. Um, just be careful because some of them reroll, and you're gonna make your opponent's uh, character go into the use pile. The other one's gonna go into the prep area, so they're gonna get to roll that again. But this one is African Priestess. When fielded, reroll a target opposing character. If the result is not a character, place that die in your opponent's used pile. So effectively, it could be a removal, right? But you're playing the odds. You're, you're rolling and you're trying to get the uh, opponent to lose blockers and to waste the amount of energy they caught, they paid to uh, field that character. Psylocke Quinan the Assassin, we've talked about her in the past. She's when fielded, you may pay Mask Mask to knock out one character. So she's just a killer card, just bam, we're just in there. But one thing that's really good about her is that she's only got, she's only cost two in a mask. So she can get in pretty well. Some of these other ones you've seen before, and I know there's different versions, but here's a Beast to in a mask. When Beast blocks, draw one die and place in your prep area. That's Mutate 666. He comes in the uh, starter set. And of course, there's a lot of discussion about him. Um, he's really great for control. He's really great for churning. So you generally, you play one or the other of uh, Beast or Professor X. You normally don't play both uh, unless you're interested in really ramping up high. Uh, this is Magneto Hellfire Club when Magneto is active. If your opponent has no villains in the field, he takes two damage each time he draws one or more dice from his bag. So, how's that great? Well, if your opponent has villains, you use Psylocke, you knock them out, and all of a sudden they're going to take two damage each time. If they're going to try using a global or something to churn to get into it, you've got your Professor X, knock them out. Uh, Mystique, if somebody's playing like the patch of vendors on you or somebody big, you can use Mystique alias you for a mask or a villain character. When Mystique attacks, she gains attack value in all assigning and attacking abilities of one opposing character. That is crazy, right? She pumps really well, but her uh, her stats are really weird. Level 1, she's a field cost of 1, 1-1. One, one. Level 2, she's a 0 field, 1-1. One, one. And level 3, she's a 2 field, 1-1 one, one with burst. But burst doesn't really do very much for you there. And then I just included Gambit. Um, card Sharp, I know a lot of people like to use like Ace in the Hole, I think it is. Uh, card shop is when fielded, you may draw and roll one die. If you roll a character side, that character deals damage equal to its attack to your opponent and goes to your use pile. Alright, so that is nuts. If you're if you yourself are playing Patch of Vendors or you're playing somebody like Red Hulk or She Hulk or some of these big powerful um uh characters, you go ahead and do this and that's gonna do some massive direct damage. It has the potential to anyways. This one uh, Gambit, just like all the other Gambits, it's really dependent on timing, right? You always want to make sure you do time it just right, where you know what's in the bag and you've, uh, you can actually get them in there and hopefully do as much damage as you can. So, Mask, Creatures, very good, very diverse. Um, why would we play a mono energy deck? Well, quite simply because half die faces are characters, another half are uh, mask faces, more energy. Um, gives you a much more efficient way to use your your rolls right so but two-thirds of them 67 percent are double masks so essentially you can actually just ramp and keep going and you can get out your mask characters quicker if you're using all mask characters unfortunately not unlike magic where you actually get to choose your own energy you're rolling right so this gives you the highest level opportunity in order to get those mass creatures out but you still have the occasional bolts and you have the um the sidekicks and you have the the fists and all that well you can only do what you can do but this gives you the best chance in order to field your characters when you want them so hopefully it helps talk to you soon bye Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Alakai. Um, today we're talking about a specific instance about the rules uh, from WizKids. Um, this one has to do with Magneto and Magneto's global ability. He is, this is a, um, just one version of him. There's another one of him, of course, but this is Magneto Holocaust Survivor. It's the uncommon version from AVX, Six and a Mask Villain. I'll read you the regular ability. When Magneto is active, you may pay two energy to spin a villain up one level. Okay, that's just fine. 
It's global. Pay a mask to reroll a villain die. Okay. Doesn't sound too difficult, so if I did ever want to reroll a villain die, I guess I could do that. There's my fielded pyro. Um, I don't know, maybe he's at level 1. This is the 031 face, and I'm going to want to pay a mask. Sorry, it goes to transit, and I want to reroll him, and whoops. I guess I got energy now, so he comes out of the reserve, and he's going to go into transit. I'm not sure why I'd want to do that, other than to... Uh, to really use Pyro's ability to get guys into the used pool and maybe to do his global, but um, that's not where the controversy actually came from or where it was talking about. The controversy and the questions are coming from his global. Pay a mass reroll of villain die. Okay, so we got the field and that's the ones we can target, right? We can target guys in the field zone and in the attack zone. We can put things in the used pile. We can put things in the prep area and all that, but what about the reserve area? Well, that's the question that people are asking. That's kind of the problem right now is, let's just say I've got a Green Goblin, which is a villain, um, and it all came up to be a, a Bolt. I don't want to be a Bolt. I want to try to get Green Goblin. So can I pay a mask and re-roll Green Goblin with the hopes of rolling a character face and then pay and then go into the field? Is that possible? Matter of fact, it is. Uh, October 23rd, Dice Masters Rules team went ahead and said that, or clarified, that there's actually an opportunity for you to target a die in the reserve area. Very odd. So you can actually target in the reserve pool and in the field zone. Now keep in mind, <clears throat> this happens after the roll and re-roll step. So you've already rolled, and you've already re-rolled. Now you've got, you know, you got, uh, you got your bolt and you're sad, right? Well, if you have Magneto, you can roll again. And with any luck, you're going to go ahead and get yourself a character, and you're going to go ahead and be able to feel them, because you were doing it at the beginning of your attack step, and then you can go ahead and attack if you want to. Anyways, um, makes that guy way powerful. Kind of confuses a lot of people, because you never thought you could actually um, target any characters or any dice in the reserve area, but in this case, you can. Um... Kind of odd, but uh, that's what they said. So, Magneto Holocaust Survivor, more powerful than you may think. Hope it helps. Thanks, guys. I'll include the, um, the link for the Dice Masters forum below. Take care.